In this video, we will talk about how to formulate a special type of linear programming problems with wide real-world applications. It's called the transportation problem. This type of problem can be solved using the traditional simplex method. However, due to their special structure, there exist specialized algorithms that are much more efficient to solve them. A typical transportation problem is to find the best solution to fulfill the needs of n demand points using the capacities of m supply points. A cost of shipping the products from a supply point to a demand point is involved. Here is an example. A manufacturing company has m is equal to 2 factories that satisfy the needs of n is equal to 3 customers. The unit shipping cost from a factory to a customer depends on the distance. For example, from factory 1 to customer 1, the unit shipping cost is $8 per product. From factory 1 to customer 2, the unit shipping cost is $6 per product, and so on. Each factory has a limited capacity. Factory 1 can supply at most 40 products per day and factor 2 can supply at most 50 products per day. Each customer will need at least 30 products per day. For the decision variables, we define xij to be the number of products shipped from factory i to customer j. The objective function is the total cost. For example, this is the cost of shipping x11 products from factory 1 to customer 1. This is the cost of shipping x12 products from factor 1 to customer 2, and so on. We need to sum up all the cost components. As for the constraints, each factory has a limited capacity. The total amount of products sent from factor 1 to all three customers should be less than or equal to 40. The total number of products sent from factor 2 to all three customers should be less than or equal to 50. Each customer's demand should be met. The total number of products received by customer 1 should be greater than or equal to 30. Same for customer 2 and customer 3. This is the complete linear programming problem formulation. This is a more general form of the transportation problem formulation. The objective function is the sum of the cost matrix times the decision variables. The sum of each row is less than or equal to the supply capacity. The sum of each column is greater than or equal to the required demand. The example we explained here is also a balanced transportation problem. This is because the total supply is equal to the total demand. 40 plus 50 is equal to 90, which is equal to 30 plus 30 plus 30. This is the formulation of a balanced transportation problem. The difference between the general transportation problem and the balanced transportation problem is in the constraints. These two will be changed to the equality constraints, and the total supply is equal to the total demand. For the balanced transportation problem, there is an algorithm called the transportation simplex to solve it efficiently which will be talked about in another video. We can show the mathematical formulation in a diagram like this. These are the supply nodes. These are the demand nodes. These lines with arrows represent the transportation routes. There is a cost, Cij, associated with each route. We need to determine the amount of products, Xij, that will be shipped from supply node I to the demand node J. For this balanced problem, the total supply is 90, and the total demand is also 90. This is another representation of the problem using the transportation tableau. These are the supply nodes, and these are the demand nodes. The unit shipment cost is put in the top right corner of each cell. For example, from factory 1 to customer 1, the unit shipping cost is $8 per product. We need to determine the amount of products, xij, that will be shipped from supply node i to the demand node j. We put the decision variables in the bottom left corner of each cell. 
For this balanced problem, the total supply is 90 and the total demand is also 90. If a problem is unbalanced, we need to balance it first before we use the transportation simplex method to solve it. In this example, the demand of customer 1 is increased from 30 to 40. So the total supply, which is 90, is less than the total demand, which is 100. In order to balance the problem, we need to introduce a dummy or fake supply node called factory 3 and give it a capacity 10. Any amount sent from factory 3 to a customer will represent the unmet demand of that customer. For each unit of unmet demand, we introduce a penalty, which can be determined by the financial loss related to the unmet demand. For example, we assume the penalty for each unit of unmet demand for customer 1 is 20, for customer 2 is 22, and for customer 3 is 23. Then the problem is balanced. For the Tableau representation, when we introduce a dummy supply F3, we are actually adding one row to the original transportation tableau like this. These are the penalties. And this is the dummy supply amount. In this example, the supply of factory 1 is increased from 40 to 50. So the total supply, which is 100, exceeds the total demand, which is 90. In order to balance the problem, we need to introduce a dummy or fake demand node called customer 4 and give it a demand 10. Any amount sent from a factory to customer 4 will represent the unused remaining capacity of that factory. For unused capacity, there is no extra cost involved. Therefore, C14 and C24 are both zero. Now the problem is balanced. For the Tableau representation, when we introduce a dummy demand C4, we are actually adding one column to the original transportation tableau like this. The unit costs are zero. This is the dummy demand. Why is the regular simplex method not very efficient in solving the balance and transportation problem? This is because it contains many equality constraints. The traditional simplex algorithm will have to use a big M method to find the initial basic feasible solution by introducing many artificial variables, which increases the complexity of the problem. In comparison, the transportation simplex method does not need to introduce extra variables and can deal with the equality constraints directly. The first step of the transportation simplex method is to find a basic feasible solution. This can be done using the Northwest Corner method, the minimum cost method, or Vogel's method. They will be introduced in other videos. Okay, that's how we formulate a balanced transportation problem and represent it in a diagram or transportation tableau. Thanks for watching.